Hello and welcome to my channel. Welcome to the Digital Black Magic channel. My name is Christoph Esch and today I'm going to show you how to adopt an access point into the Unify controller. The access point is created by Ubiquiti and the controller software is the management software that controls all the settings of the network. So the access point is just a part of the network. I will show how to upgrade the firmware of the access point and how to configure the access point using link aggregation in order to change controller settings, which is the adoption of the access point into the network. We will have to log on to the Unify controller. Therefore, we open a browser and go to the IP address of the controller. Then we log in. Once logged in, we will end up in the dashboard. Once in the dashboard, and we want to configure devices. To do so, we select the devices icon, which looks like an access point. It can be found in the top corner of the left-hand side. In the devices tab, you have the option to filter network devices. There is one for all the devices. There's one for only access points and there is one for wired hardware. The pre-selected in my controller is for access points only. You can see two access points, the Unify APACHD. One is already in the network showing connected and the other is pending adoption. To adopt the access point, I click on the plus on the right hand side. The adoption is a quite quick process, may take a minute. The status of the access points changes to provisioning. Provisioning means that the controller supplies the access point with all the necessary configuration information it needs to become a part of my network. The controller software offers a map that provides a topology of the network. This map shows the controller as part of a network, but it doesn't have a speaking name. Sorry, I was referring to the access point in the right hand corner. So to give it a speaking name, we need to get back to the devices tab and enter the configuration of this particular device. You click on the device, then a tab opens on the right hand side where you can select config. Here you can set an alias. I put office to identify the access point in the controller more easily. After clicking save, the settings are going to be provisioned to the access point. The access point now is referred to as RP Arbeitszimmer, which is access point office. Now we have a pending upgrade for the firmware. This is a software that controls the access point. More often than not, it's very easy to do these upgrades in Unify. But in this case, for an unknown reason, this upgrade didn't take place. I tried three times to upgrade it via the controller. Then I had a discussion with Unify support for over an hour. And in the end, I deleted it off my network again and used my mobile phone app, which is another option to control this hardware, to upgrade the access point to the latest firmware. Then I re-adopted it, just as shown in this video, and now we are in the state that we have the current firmware. Next up is the link aggregation, which will double the throughput. It is an unnecessary encounter in my case, but it can be done, so I do it. The first rule of IT is never give in. So what you need to do sometimes takes to walk an extra mile, but the result is more often than not a resolved problem. So persistence is what it takes. Now you can see the access point in the right hand corner of the map referred as RP Arbeitszimmer. You may notice that in contrast to the other access point on the map, this access point has only one line drawn to the next active network component, which is a switch. 
I want to change that and use the link aggregation to do so. In order to enable the link aggregation, I will have to alter the configuration of both the access point and the switch. In the config tab, after selecting network, you can find a checkbox that states enable port aggregation. This needs to be done before we change the configuration of the switch. Once this configuration change is provisioned, we can alter the configuration of the switch. Filtering to wired devices, we can now configure the switch. My switch has 10 ports, 8 of which are Ethernet, and the access point is connected to port 7 and 8. So we need to alter the configuration of the ports. After opening the switch configuration, we can select the ports by clicking the little edit icon next to port 7. This enables us to overwrite the configuration with the link aggregation. We can aggregate up to four ports. In our case, we just need two. So seven and eight is more than sufficient. Just to show you the similarity of the switches, I'm going to show you the configuration of the other switch in my network. And it has a port aggregation, including port two and three. Going back to the topology map of the network, you can now see that both access points have two connections to the switch. Again, this is totally unnecessary in my case, but it can be done and I'm curious about things that can be done and want to know how they work. Curiosity is another part which plays a vital role in IT. Thanks for watching my video. I have shown how to configure a Unify APACHD with port aggregation, as they call it. I wish you a nice day and I will see you soon.